Hello guys, this is Alex Trevino and this is the third tutorial of the Laser Cowboy series. This is in Blender and Substance. This video will be about texturing. In this tutorial, I will be explaining how to import an FBX, baking, how to make a basic material, how to use masks, and also how to export the maps. With this, you will be ready to render. To import an FBX, go to File, New, Document Resolution, I use 4K, the normal map, select Open GL, also select your FBX. Then click Open and OK. With this, you will have your FBX inside Substance Painter. To start baking, go to Texture, Set Settings, and then Bake Mesh Maps. After that, select the output size, at least I use 4K, and bake the mesh. When the bake is ready, you can see the maps in here. For the most basic material, I start with a base color, height and roughness. So I add a fill layer and this fill layer I put the name of base color and in this one I will remove every map except color and select the color. And then again I will put another fill layer. This one is gonna be called height and I will remove every map except height. Then add a mask and an effect of generator, in this case dirt. And the last one, I'm gonna use roughness. I remove everything except a rough. Also, I add a mask and a generator using dirt. With this, you have a very basic material. You have the base color, height and roughness. So if you want to give more detail to it, you need to add more layers of every type. So in this case, I will add another roughness, another height and another base color. So you can add as much layers as you want to give more complexity to your texture. Now that you have the material to use it on another mesh, first you need to make it a smart material. So you do a folder and give it a name and after that select all the layers of the material and add them to the folder. With that, you just right click, create smart material. You can add the material just with drag and drop. To explain the masking, first I will be adding a fill layer with a color black. This will be the base. And then another fill layer, and this is gonna be white. This one I will be using for the masking. Then I will add a mask and a generator. In this case, I will use mask editor. But normally I use the ambient occlusion or curvature. In this one, I will be using curvature. 
so I open the options and play with them. This will be just the base of the mask. After this I will add three different fill layers with different textures at different scales and also different blending modes. The most common filter that I use is Blur, in this case I will use Warp, and Warp gives you a little bit of distortion and a little bit of detail. Another filter that I use a lot is Shorten. And for the final touches, I use Add Levels. And you can see that it is made of different type of effects from a generator, fields, filters, and levels. Now that you have the mask, you can create a smart mask. Just right click and select create smart mask. Then change the name of the mask and now you have it. To use the mask, just add the mask to the material and that's it. To export the materials, first you go to File and Export Textures. In that window you go to Configuration and add a new preset. This is my preset that I made for Blender Cycles. When you make the preset, you will need to restart, so the preset will be as default. Now we select the preset on config. And also we select the folder location for the export and select the tile size. I will select 4K. Here on the left you can select if you want to export every mesh or just one mesh. We click export. Now we have the materials. In this tutorial you learn how to import an FBX, the baking, how to make a basic material, how to use masks and how to export the maps. Now you're ready to render. I have uh, some free assets and also paid ones. The free pack includes a clay render and the laser cowboy bag ready to texture this last one. The limited pack includes a map and scene, so you can texture it in Substance Painter. The complete pack that includes everything that I told you before, and also five materials made in Substance Painter. So, if you like this video, please subscribe.
The next video is going to be about hair particles in Blender 2.80.